a prayer to be a person who uplifts others. Father God, I give you praise and my thanksgivings as there are those who unconditionally love me and those who share encouraging words that I might do my very best at those things that the Holy Spirit guides me to do. Father God, I come before you on behalf of the downtrodden, the depressed, or those who have been discouraged by circumstances, or people who have downcast them concerning life. Many believers and non-believers have many positive workplace accomplishments, but they are ignored by management or co-workers Father, there is those in authority within the workplace taking no notice of a worker's dedication, their loyalty, or their hard work as this worker desires to honor their employer. In the scriptures in Proverbs 3, verses 27 through 29, it is written, Do not withhold good from those to whom it is due, when it is in the power of your hand to do so. Do not say to your neighbor, Go and come back, and tomorrow I will give it when you have it with you. Do not devise evil against your neighbor, for he dwells by you for safety's sake. Father, there is believers and unbelievers with family members whom are pessimistic, as they appear to always look at the worst outcomes. Many people live a life without applause or an encouraging cheer from a family member or even a friend. Father, in our social circles, there are those whom gossip setting their minds only on the negative aspects of those who encircle them. Father, there is circles of believers and unbelievers with cynical attitudes that surround each of us as we walk the pathways of life. Father God, I come before you in behalf of Christians whom desire to be a blessing to others with a kindliness that encourages others. Father, I pray for your guidance and a blessing for a Christian whom desires to be used as a vessel that encourages and uplifts all those who surround them. Father, I pray for the Holy Spirit to provide these uplifting Christians with the wisdom and the guidance to share hopes that reflect scriptural truths. May words that uplift others be broadcast to all and done without any pretense of unappreciation. In Ephesians 4, verse 29, it is written, Do not let any unwholesome talk come out of your mouths, and only what is helpful for building up others up according to their needs, that it may benefit those who listen. May all glory go to our Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ, as only He provides the pathway that we might come before the throne of our Heavenly Father asking for these things. In Jesus' precious name I pray, amen.